What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here today. Halloween ends has officially wrapped production as of today, uh, I guess. This is according to Christopher Nelson, who was one of the head makeup designers involved with this trilogy from David Gordon Green. He put out this tweet or this Instagram post earlier today where he expressed all his gratitude for the film and the time that they spent on set. Um, and just as you see here on your screen, there's a little postcard that they gave out to the cast and crew. Ryan Turek, who also worked on the, who I know many of you probably might be a lot more familiar with Ryan Turek. He put this out too on his official Instagram. Uh, Dave McCray also tweeted this out, which is what got me looking into some of the sources before I went out and made this video. But production actually has wrapped and we are on the final stages to the, what might be the last Halloween movie we'll be getting for many years i would hope when i say many years i mean like at least five <laughs> uh, there's no denying that the shape will be back michael myers will be back david gordon green's iteration of this will not be the last thing michael myers is just woven into the fabric of hollywood he's a he's clearly a a thing that draws in a lot of money still so I have no doubts in my mind that we'll see Michael Myers again after October of 2022. It, it won't be, it might not be next year. I don't, I'm pretty confident it won't be next year. <laughs> if it is, it is. But if it is, it, of course, going to be exploring a different timeline. But he's not going to be gone forever. So I don't think there's any reason to just become overly concerned with that or really get too sad about it. Even though this kind of does still make me a little bit sad because I love Michael Myers. I love the Halloween franchise and I do appreciate the content that we get. But I prefer quality over quantity. And if this is going to be the, the last iteration for David Gordon Green, then I would like to have a lengthy break in between this movie and whatever comes next. That doesn't mean that if we don't have that, then we will be starting to get crap movies. But, you know, I just think that a good five year absence of Michael Myers would be what I ideally would want to have after we get what hopefully will be an incredible movie later this year. Uh, and that was one of the things that they made a comment about in the uh, in that Instagram post, that being Christopher Nelson saying that he thinks this movie is going to shock a lot of people or, or a lot of people will find this to be incredible or something like that. And just to jump into another topic, we need to talk about who might be Michael Myers' first victim. And I'm going to tie this into the uh, fact that Michael Myers may have been continuing to kill after the events of Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. So there was a image that was going around on online and I, I found this on Reddit, on the Halloween Movies Reddit, where it was sharing the uh, billboard of a missing individual named Megan Baxter. Before I jump into that, I do want to touch briefly on the thought of Michael Myers continuing to kill in local areas or different locations after Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. So why this might be a thing is because that missing billboard does say October 30th of 2021, I believe. And we know we're having a four year time jump. So if that missing billboard is related to Michael Myers, of course, it's safe to assume he has something to do with that missing individual and the, the fact of why she's missing is related to him but the fact that it's occurring on october 30th 2021 and we know we're supposed to be having a four-year time jump which tells us that most of this movie will most likely take place in 2022 it's interesting that someone went missing on october 30th of 2021 that individual of course being megan baxter megan baxter i'm assuming would be some girl who was going home from a halloween party that year she could be in a different town close to Haddonfield. They could start exploring that narrative, saying that he's been going to other towns and, and targeting people there. But no one's been ever to, no one's been able to catch him because he hasn't been just going out there, just doing it like that. He's kind of just been this individual that pops up and has been just taking people out in different towns every other Halloween in different locations but still close to Haddonfield. And unfortunately, October 30th, 2021, it was Megan Baxter's opportunity. She could be a woman who was just going home from a Halloween party. The shape got her. Michael Myers got her. She went missing. Body never recovered, etc. Don't know what he's doing with the bodies, if that's the case, but we'll find out, I guess. I did try to call, if you see this clearly, I don't know how clear this image will actually come out, but there's a number on the billboard, as you see here. 
like a fool i tried to call it <laughs> and see what would happen it's a standard number that i think they use for most movies when they do this type of stuff the number won't give you anything so <laughs> but i that's who i think megan baxter will be i think she'll be the first victim we can explore in halloween ends and this might be a flashback that we get where we see her walking home i am going to predict from a halloween party and then the shape just gets her. This could be a actually thorough, in-depth, uh, very suspenseful and fast-paced uh, and very tense chase sequence that they could do to start off the movie and then jump forward after the title card comes up saying a year later and we're in 2022. And then, of course, by assumption, going off of where the 2018 movie was in and the Halloween Kills movie, we'll know that this is our four-year time jump in full effect once we jump a year later after Megan Baxter's uh, attack on from the shape. How that will relate to what happens in Hatterfield with, with Jamie Lee Curtis's character of Laura Strode, I do not know. I know that Andy Matichak also recently posted something about her final days on set. So it was only a matter of time before we got an, an announcement like that today telling us that filming had wrapped. Now, no, of course, we have a lengthy post-production process for them to go through. Uh, this was also mentioned in Ryan Turek's post that he put out about the production wrapping. And then we'll be sitting down in theaters in October to see how this trip trilogy ends on halloween not halloween but on october 14th of this year later this year i i at this point think i'll see it on the 10th or the 11th just my guess either the 10th or the 11th or the 12th and then i'll have my review up here uh spoiler free as much as best as i can but Yep, filming has wrapped. Halloween Ends is almost completely done and ready to be released. We should, of course, start to get different things released, different behind-the-scenes images, different official steals, get more announcements involving the cast because I am very impressed by how little we know about the cast and how secretive this has been. And they've done a very good job at keeping a lot of stuff under lock and key. Granted, I have been hearing that there's somebody out there who's been leaking stuff and getting it correct um i haven't tracked that down to verify anything so i don't know what leaks may or may not be out there or what may or may not be true but hopefully everything goes according to planning we get an incredible last movie for this iteration of michael myers later this october let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below how excited are you about filming rapping what do you want to see next because of this if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video